What's up, fellas? Back again. We're going live tonight. I don't know why. This is super spur of the moment. So I have no idea how good or how bad this is going to be. But all I do know is that me and B are cooking some fish on the grill. Yeah, that's spinner worm. Yeah, he doesn't even eat fish, but he might try some of mine tonight. But here's why we're going live. My dad called me today and said he would like to spend the night at the house because he's going to fish tomorrow on the lake, but he wanted to come over and practice. So it's dark out. Yes, it's dark, dark. Like, it's been dark for a long time. And it's been raining all day, hasn't it, B? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Super bad rain, and it's dark, and I'm worried about my dad thinking he's, like, broke down or lost or something. And so I call him. He won't answer his phone. I drive to the boat ramp. He finally answers his phone and says, I'm just pulling out of the lake. You won't believe it. I've had an epic day of bass fishing, and he's so excited. He just walked to my house. He has no idea I'm filming live, so we're going to kind of spur the moment in here. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. So I was worried about you. We actually drove to the boat ramp. Okay. Suzanne and I did. We called your phone 20 times, my thinking phone. thinking that you were like broke Speaking down or an alligator ate you or something. I got some pictures, son, that I can show you some monsters. I caught some monsters on the lake what? today. How big? I mean, like almost eight pounds. Let me see. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is just now. This, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's just that's just like an hour ago. What? That's a seven. Lake Okeechobee, baby. Seven twelve or seven four, and I lost another one, every bit as big. What? Yes, big three monster monster bass, in a in in a school. Really? Yeah. Show everybody, show everybody that. Yes, look at that, guys. Look at that. That is on Lake Okeechobee right there. Everybody's wondering if Lake Okeechobee's good, and it is amazing. Is it not? <laughs> hey, it was something. I, well, what happened? I get I get up there. Only had three hours to fish, so I got out there and I and, and I, uh, I was telling Reed the, the the devil horse. Now I've fished with you, son, and and we caught those big old devil horse fish, those seven pounders over there, JNS. <laughs> and then another time I caught them. Uh, this this year I caught twenty four pounds on devil's horse. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that devil's horse, it's it's just a crazy deal. Do you like, even know what a devil's horse is, Brandon? What is a devil's no, horse, Brandon? Just, no, 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 no. What is the devil's horse, Brandon? Describe I don't know. a devil's horse to to everybody listening. What, I don't know. What, what, what does it look like? What what how many? What would it look like? Describe its shape. Devil's horse. I don't know. Would it have legs? Two legs? Three legs? Four legs? Maybe it's a baby horse with a tail, like a spinner tail in the back. Maybe. Maybe it's Maybe. got horns out of the head of a horse, so it's called a devil's horse, like a pitchfork thing. It's holding that, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a top water lure with props on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's good, though. All right, but, so but anyway, it, it, it was really cool. I hadn't been on the lake in, what, what three or four weeks, and uh, I've been, look how burned I am. I've been out deep sea fishing. I was out and caught red snapper and red grouper all week, and I've been out saltwater fishing all week. Yeah? Yeah, and I caught, caught some big ones. Yeah. Nice. So, how many other bass did you catch today? What? Oh, I had probably I probably had ten. Yeah. And I had uh, three others that were pretty good, three to four pounds. So yeah. So I had about twenty four, twenty five pounds. And if I'd caught that one big one, I would have hit close to thirty. Thirty pounds Almost, on. But I didn't. Lake of Kachobi. Thirty pounds on wow. Lake of Kachobi's wow. got. Look, you know, say what you want. People ask me all the time, what's what's your favorite lake? That's what they ask me. What's your favorite lake? And I have several favorite lakes, like Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain is awesome, that's right? Lake, lake well, Champlain's that, that's good. That's my favorite lake for yeah. years. Lake Champlain's yeah. good. Kentucky Lake's a great one, but Lake Okeechobee, day in and day out, right here in Clewiston. You launched right here in Clewiston. Right. It's summertime. It's crummy fish in most of the places around the whole country, hey, but yet he caught 30 pounds. Here's my wife, my beautiful wife. Here we go, guys. Good to see you. Say, tell everybody hello. Rito. Yay. Yes. Rito. Happy I'm Father's Day. There's my Hillary. Hello. Yes. Everybody has seen her on the channel. Yeah. And um, she has our number two video on our channel right now. She's holding the number two spot behind Bluefin Tuna. And her video has only been out three months, two months maybe, two months. 700,000 views. You have 700,000 views. 754,000 views. Can you believe what? that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Really? Isn't that cool? You can yeah. Buy her new yeah. Pair of sneakers for that. Oh man. That's right. That's right. So, <laughs> man. Well, Rito, so, he's. Yeah, I tell you what. He's. He. He's taller than. I think he's taller than you now, isn't he? He's getting there. He's taller than me. He's taller than me. Look, Shut down. 
Brandon. Look, he's taller than me. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. He is. <laughs> he is, yeah. Like and so you have shoes guys. on. Yeah, I know. You have shoes on. And so, all right, let's see our height here. Yeah, we're almost. Well, you know, you got shoes on. Yes. So he's almost as tall as you are. Almost, like, like two inches? <laughs> That's right. About an inch. All right. All right, so here's the deal. So tell everybody, let's give them a tip here, because we're well, right, this is super well, spur of the moment live. So if, if you don't like it and this is a complete waste of time, I'm sorry, but just sometimes you would just turn things on and see what happens. Tell them how you fish a top water. Give them a good tip on top water, devil's horse. A devil's horse deal is an old time lure. I mean, I started fishing that thing actually back in the 60s, back on Lake Santee Cooper. It was a stupid kind of deal because I caught some big fish back then. And then I know 20 years ago, you and I almost won that tournament on the mm -hmm. Devil's Horse. Mm -hmm. And then another time this summer, this spring, I, I almost won a tournament mm -hmm. on the Devil's Horse. Mm -hmm. It's something that every once in a while really pays off. What it I is, mean, Devil's Horse is made by Smithwick. It's 40, it's, 50 year old lure. Yeah, it's got big props on each end of it. It's a wooden lure, it has big three big treble hooks, and, uh, and it floats. And I throw it out there, and most everybody goes, jump, 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 make it, makes a lot How's of noise. Go? Well, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. What I do, I throw it out there and may barely move it along. You see me. Yeah. I work it real slow. Everybody yes. else works it fast. All right, there you go. I work Three, it real seven, slow. Thirty pounds. And slow. I use twenty-pound line, big old favorite rod. Yeah. It's a favorite. Yeah. The name, the name of the rod. Yeah. It's and really your favorite rod. Now I just catch a thirty-pound bag on it. Boom. And I just work it real slow. Don't. Those three bass today, son. Oh, cause you. I mean, that's neat. When a seven or eight pounder hits, that's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Brandon? You want to go throw a devil's horse tomorrow with Dad? You ought to get up in the morning and go fishing with him. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> you take him tomorrow. Are you, are Actually, going to really? him tomorrow. Yeah. You should take him. He should be your special guest. Yeah. He, he, he can he um, spinner worm. He can. Um, he can do spinner worm, or he can do spinner spinner horse. Spinner horse. Yeah. Do the put the put the spinner worm on the front of the devil's horse. On the back. On the back. He's like a curly tail. And then Along maybe, the I don't know, like on a leader? Yeah. Okay, that works. That. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you think, B? What do you think? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Anybody got a question for, for Brandon? No. Throw it out there. <laughs> Come on. No spinner worm and helicopter in the same room. That's right. That's hilarious. Your spinner worm, that's helicopter. That's his nickname. That's his old, that's an old nickname. A lot of people wouldn't know about it, but he's helicopter. Helicopter lure spinner worm. <laughs> helicopter lure. <laughs> helicopter lure. That's right. Everybody gives me a lot of stuff over a helicopter lure, but I made a fortune on the helicopter lure. Yeah, I made catch money. a lot of fish. I made a pickup truck load full of money on the helicopter lure. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me borrow some. I'm have to get How much money have you made going. on the spinner worm yet? We're going to do t shirts and stuff for Brandon spinner worm t shirts. Sometime. Yes. We'll get it sometime. That's right. What is, okay, hold on. Uh, this stuff is coming in so fast. All right, let's ask you a question. What editing software do you use? Uh, well, I was on Final Cut. Now yeah. I'm on Premiere. Did you switch today? I did. Already? I Already. gave him the green light to switch over, and he did it that quick. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, someone wants to know, can you twerk? I'm not doing that, now. Yes, you can twerk. Hey, I was looking at, that, at Scott's at that deal, and it said it was like 156,000... Subs? Yeah. People. Mm -hmm. And it was only a hundred, not even a hundred thousand the first of the year. Yeah. yeah so what's so what's it's grown seventy, sixty thousand in in six months. We're, we're going pretty fast. Wow. We're growing. Oh, keeps going growing. Faster, too. We're growing. We're growing. Yeah, but the problem is we're liable to lose a whole bunch of them after this video because it's so random know. and silly. I don't even know if anybody will like it. We're liable to <laughs> I think, unsubscribe. I think after this film you're going to lose a few, but that's yes, all right. That's right. You, you're you're my son, and you know uh, I can maybe hurt you a little bit, but you come back. You come back. <laughs> I'll put my beautiful wife on there. We're liable to keep them. <laughs> I can't answer any fishing questions. No. <laughs> but Hillary can. Hillary can. Maybe. Yes, you can. She's really good at dolphin fishing. She's actually really? caught. She's it's like the dolphin. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're cooking, guys. Here's what we got going on. This whole reason that was coming over is we are cooking fish tonight right there. Ooh. That is the fish. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Tell me what all this is. Mm -hmm. That's dolphin. No, that's red. That's snapper. Snapper. Mangrove snapper fillets with the skin on. Hey, you've seen some... this is mutton hey, snapper. I want, to, I want to show you. I want to show you the craziest picture of a snapper. Yeah. If you've ever, never that's seen Wahoo. a picture like this, 
in your whole life. I've got to show you this here. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Wait for this, it. This is the craziest Wait picture for it. you've ever seen. Wait a minute. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for the it. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Better settle down there, guys. I can't find it. Hmm. Uh, technologically challenged right now, but that's okay. All right, where are we fishing next? We're going to the Potomac River. Brandon's going to leave in a few days to head that way, and then I'm not sure how I'm getting there, actually. I might Uber. May Uber, possibly. All right, but that's what we're cooking right there. So, hey, hey, now watch oh, look, here we look go. at this shot. Here we go. Now, now, now look at that, those snapper. Now, look, look at them close. That is you? Now, that, that's some snapper we caught two days ago. But well, look at them. Well, but look at them close. There's no, there's no fillets left on them. Yeah. See, I practice, I practice fillet and release. Now, that's oh, a different okay. kind of fishing. Most everybody else catches and releases them. But I fillet and release them. Could possibly be illegal, and the problem is we're on face. Uh, we're on YouTube. Live. No, no, it was like it was, it was, and it was now two, the game two, of fish is going to be coming. So you can over go two, to your two, two big snappers a piece, potentially was, throwing you in was, jail. It was Jimmy snapper and jail. myself and, and and a bunch of other guys, and so we hit we hit the limit. But that's uh, that's a that's a fillet and release. That's right, the fillet and release. Dude. You're allowed two per person, right? Yeah. Two per person. Everybody caught a bunch of them. I, I, we were tarpon fishing in the Keys, and we couldn't break loose. And here's the day before. I was with uh, Steve Lloyd, and look at look at that 30-pound king mackerel. Ooh, so Oh, wait. Hold on. So, here. Oh, gosh. That's a big one. Look at that. Oh, You're just a fishing big. fool. Uh, guys, you think he just catches bass. I mean, today he caught 30-pound bass. I caught a bluegill the other day. You did catch a bluegill the other day. Where's that picture? <laughs> In Maryland, you went to Maryland and went to the creek. Tell that story. That's pretty neat, oh, actually. Oh, that was so cool. Now, this is really neat I was neat holding story, my guys. little, my little uh, grandson, my newest little grandson, Emmett. That's, my sister's that's, little that's, boy. That's, that's Scott's yeah. sister's boy, little Emmett. And we were sitting there on the river, looking out on this little place where I caught my first fish. And look at that. I was going to show you that. That's really cool. I caught the first fish I ever caught in my whole life sitting on that. Where it all started. Where it all started, if I can find a spot. What's up, Monster Mike? Monster Mike's on here. What up, dog? What's up? Monster Mike fishing, blowing bombs at us. I like it. What up, dude? <laughs> he's all over those emojis. That's right. Yeah, he's emojiing <laughs> it up, dude. I like it. I like it. Look, look. I got the limit. And, and we're sitting on the Patuxent Hold River. Hold on. We got something going on here. What is it? I don't know. You didn't do it right. There it is. Hold on. Yeah, on the Patuxent River in Laurel, Maryland. What? What's the name of the river? Patuxent, and we and we, and I caught a five-inch bluegill. That's right the there very first me. place that you caught a fish when you were a kid. I was showing Emmett where I caught the five-inch bluegill. How old were you when you caught the five-inch bluegill? About five. And you were five years old and caught a five-inch bluegill in that creek. That's it. And seventy-something years later, you're standing there with your grandson Emmett, showing him where I showing him where. The creek yeah, is. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And that, that was in Maryland, correct? Correct. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Parker Clark? There you go. <laughs> that's cool. All that's right. So cool though. Jared Cook. All right, guys, we're getting back to it. Here we go. We're gonna throw this on. This is dinner time. Brandon, can you do the door for me, please? Because I can't do the filming and the door. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to the Traeger, baby. Guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Again, this was super spur of the moment. Really random. But I was actually worried that he was broke down. And I was actually worried that maybe something's happening to him. So, when he called me and told me that he was just excited about how many fish he caught. And he stayed like 30 minutes after dark. I was like, we've got to video this. we got to video this. Because he was like a 10-year-old kid for the first time catching his first big bass. So... Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, watching the channel. Thanks for uh, doing everything you guys do. Appreciate it very much. Tell everybody bye. Tell everybody bye. Hey, bye. Hey, okay. hey, guys. Hey, tomorrow's the day though. Tomorrow yeah. we're gonna we're gonna really rack them up. Woo, son. Man. Always, it's always better fishing tomorrow. Always better fishing tomorrow. Always. Always. Tell them bye, Brandon. Bye bye. All right. Give them the give them the little out there for us. Bam.